Manchester derby. No longer merely a local disagreement. Now it's a contest watched the world over. Eagerly anticipated for some time. And now the day is definitely upon us. The two teams side by side. Old Trafford nowhere near big enough to accommodate everyone who would like to be here as the teams stride out for the biggest game of the Barclays Premier League season so far. Two sides whose squads today cost a combined total of £590 million. This is the Manchester United team. The only real surprise is the omission of Nemanja Vidic. We are told not injured, just left out. Johnny Evans is preferred as Rio Ferdinand's partner. The other call that Sir Alec Ferguson had to make was whether to play Danny Welbeck or Javier Hernandez. Welbeck gets the nod. He is the only true Mancunian in this derby. Trying to creep through Manchester cloud overhead. The 161st Manchester derby. Three there to give Manchester United the decision. Young, yeah. driven rather than floated. It's Anderson, just a little bit too much on it. Yeah, almost clever from Rooney and Anderson there. Rooney, as you're right, pulled off at the far post. No one. Since Dennis Law's famous back heel in 1974 for City that relegated his former club. Yeah. Down he goes. Another decision for Mark Kattenberg to give, and he wants words with Milner. Looks like it's just going to be a talking to it, and I think the referee's right. And Sir Alec Ferguson will turn 70 on New Year's Eve, and Blackburn are the visitors here. And two weeks today, he completes 25 years in charge. It's young. Barney. Different angle now for Anderson. difficult to stop goodness me young oh, really went down looked to the referee who told him to get up Clichy Milner Balotelli! The T-shirt says it all. After an explosive build-up to the game for Balotelli, an explosive start for him on the pitch too. So Danny Mills, why always him? Too high for Balotelli. This is Micah Richards. It's just a coming together off the ball, just running to each other. And Hearts concerned as Young's cross arrowed towards the angle of post and bar. Edwards header down, Yaya Toure. Yeah, decent strike, did well to keep it down, Yaya Toure, but. Evra. Lived up to the expectation of, of the derby match so far. Young's ball in. Here's Anderson. And he fires one straight at Joe Hart. Yeah, Anderson had to get on his left foot there. Ideally, as it came out to him. Balotelli. He went down in instalments and he's won the free kick. Yeah, I think it's one of those free kicks where... Towards Yaya Toure, and behind for a goal kick. Onto the left foot, and again... United, if they're going to get back into this, they've got to step it up. And here's Fletcher trying to do... Oh, go up, yeah, I'll be very surprised if he doesn't get a yellow card for that. Silva. Sliding in was Anderson, it was ill-timed. Caught Silva, not the ball, free kick. It's a long way out, though, 
for this to, to be a direct shot. It's got to be 35 yards, I would possibly say. It's a, it's a distance. You've got to fancy any keeper, but, well, Balotelli over the ball, looks menacing. Let's see what he can do. It's been his day so far. Four in the middle for United. Young. There's Rooney. Oh, and Evans missed his kick, hit his stand. But again, the short corner, we said earlier that, you know, this may be a, a definite... It's Richards to beat again. Well, Beck. Anderson! Certainly, I think, a, a change in tactics and... Balotelli and... down for Aguero. And Balotelli beyond Evans, down he goes. And the decision goes in favour of Manchester City, but what about Johnny Evans? It's got to be red, surely, and it is. And is, yes. Johnny Evans, the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity. It's a free kick. But he can do nothing for the time being. Chance for Manchester City to double their lead. It's Balotelli, comes out to Richards. An idiotic thing like that and gets himself sent off. Down goes Richards, nothing doing with the referee. It's just a collision, it's not a foul, you have to accept this is a, a contact sport, those sort of things do happen and in all honesty nobody really complained about it but... Just slipped. Richards though. And he's found a pocket of space for Darren Fletcher. And it's Ashley Young! Had two bikes in it, the second one inadvertent. Well, great vision from Rooney. Great little ball into Darren Fletcher, there Telly. it is. Milner and Aguero couldn't quite get there. That's a magnificent ball in, uh, for, from James Milner, just outside. And Milner back to Silver again. And Milner, Balotelli, two for City. And Manchester City are turning Old Trafford blue. Well, as City celebrate Manchester United... Silva. Balotelli was lurking. Sending that treble. Yeah, good defending from Chris Small in there, just got in front of Balotelli. And I think, you know, he just he needs to be careful. His work rate and everything, he oh. doesn't go over the top. Everett going through Gareth Barry, and that's a yellow card for the French left-back. Toure, Balotelli, Milner, Crisp from City, it's Richards, it's three, Sergio Aguero. No doubt now about the outcome. Completely Manchester City's day. Well, that has to be it for me. It, it, it's game over, certainly now. I think Mancini and David Platt were going to make a substitution whether they change their minds now about who comes off or if anyone comes off. But again, I just think Wayne Rooney has got to calm down a little bit. He, he's almost lost his head. He was going into that tackle. He, he's eager to... Dzeko's first touch. Oh, and it was nearly a scoring one. Well, only the fact that it probably was his first touch, he, he didn't strike it well at all. You know, he got a, a bad connection, bobbled it into the floor, but... Jacko challenging, and Silva had a chance to make it four. Well, that's almost too easy for Manchester City. Jones came careering in, and he's gone down, clearly in pain. Seemed to hyperextend. I think he's hurt himself rather than anything that Dzeko did there. He, he Two for company, in. one of them is Dzeko, and Edin Dzeko has it, and David De Gea denies him. Again, City on the break, United all over the place, man light, you know, three on three break. Rooney, here's Darren Fletcher. Hernandez back to Fletcher, lovely goal! That's a gem of a goal from Darren Fletcher. Probably too little, almost certainly too late, but one to remember nonetheless. Well, it's a, a magnificent finish. Nasri. 
Yaya Toure, they're looking for four. That was Barry, and Lescott, and Dzeko turns it in. And now there is a mass exodus around Old Trafford. It's a day the like of which Sir Alec Ferguson has rarely seen before. Another defies expectation and some logic, but it could be worse here still. It's Silva and it's five! Five one! Just as it was all those years back in 1989. Manchester United cut apart on their own ground by the upstarts from across the city. Well, I can't quite believe it, in all honesty. And Dzeko, and where are Manchester United? This game cannot end quickly enough for those in red. Five on three, and Dzeko could... Well, Dzeko could have had a hat-trick. When the whistle goes, there will be very few Manchester United supporters here. Here's Dzeko. Couldn't be six, could it? It could, you know. A seismic day in English football. No other way to describe it. Regime change, power shift, call it what you like. Totally unexpected, truly spectacular and humiliating for Manchester United. It's a simply stunning scoreline. And the handshake will be an unusual one for Sir Alec Ferguson because his team has been completely dismantled and humbled and humiliated. Easy, easy, easy is the chant for Manchester City supporters. On the pitch, two goals in stoppage time for Dzeko, one for Silva, the real damage done earlier by Aguero and a brace from Mario Balotelli.